Hey guys, I'm back with another Ankbot tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to configure the currency system. I'll follow this up with a tutorial on the minigames tab, better known as the Heist chat game, soon. These combine to be the very heart of any chat games or meta you try to create, so these are very important. First, of course, you must have Ankbot installed. If you don't, head on over to the URL in the description and grab the bot. I'll have an Ankbot 101 installation tutorial up soon. In the meantime, there are a few others that you can find to get the initial setup done. Now, Open your Ankbot installation and go to the tab labeled Currency System. As you can see, the setup is broken down into a few sections. Basic Settings, Custom Ranks, Payout Settings, and Points Database. Start off by checking the box next to Basic Settings. Okay, you're done. That was the video, guys. Oh, oh no? <clears throat> Sorry about that. Well, you need to decide what you want to call your points. As you can see, I'm really clever and name mine Fun, because you know my name is tons of fun. Yep, that simple. You don't have to have your man be the same as the actual name of your points, but that is what most of the Twitch audience has come to expect. Below that is how your bot will respond when a viewer uses your command. The way I have mine set up, if I were to use the command in my chat, the bot would respond, tons of fun. The fun has a horde of, insert really large number here, fun. You can use any relevant variable from the full list of parameters available on the PDF. Quite a lot of information can be used to customize your bot's response. The next checkbox allows for hours spent in your chat while offline to count towards hours earned. I would suggest most people leave this off, but that depends on how you set up your ranks points. The cooldown slider sets how long viewers have to wait to use your points command after the last time they used it. Lastly, in this section, we have two important choices to make. First is a checkbox that allows the bot to automatically make viewers regulars at a certain amount of hours or points. Being a regular on Ockbot allows viewers to get around certain restrictions you can set in other areas, such as cap or link filters. Secondly, is how you want to set the ranks in your chat, whether by points or hours. In my experience, most streamers go by points, but hours is a valid method as well. It's all up to you. Speaking of ranks, this feeds right into the next section, custom ranks. Here's where you'll actually input all the ranks you want in your chat, how many points or hours a viewer must have, and notes for yourself. You can make ranks specific to mods, subscribers, or just have them apply to all viewers equally. For the most part, don't worry about the info input. As you can see, I've set up quite a number of ranks. I have done this because on my stream, the amount of points viewers have is pretty variable due to heists, dice rolls, and song requests. How many and what ranks will be entirely up to you. Once you have all your ranks set up, the next section is payout settings, which is appropriately where you set the amount of points and at what interval your viewers earn them. All of these values will intermingle, and you'll have to figure out what works best for you based on how many ways viewers of your channel will have to earn and spend points. Live payout amount is simply the amount of points per interval that viewers will earn points watching you while you're actually streaming. I keep saying interval because we will set that in a minute. Regular bonus is an additional amount of points on top of the live payout that regulars will earn at each interval. Now this is regulars in Ankbot, not regulars on Twitch. On follow bonus is the amount of points viewers will earn once they hit that follow button. Offline payout amount is the amount of points a viewer will earn having your chat up while you're not streaming and has a separate interval slider from when you are live. Subscriber bonus is the amount of points subscribers to your channel will earn per interval on top of the live amount. This will only affect your viewers if you are indeed a Twitch partner. On subscribe bonus is the counterpart to the last setting for when a viewer hits the sub button. Raider payout amount is not a setting I've ever used, but is tied to a feature in Ankbot that allows you to track those streamers who have raided you. Moderator bonus is once again a nice little bonus over the live amount for those viewers who have stepped up and are helping you out. Lastly, the active user bonus is additional points a viewer can get for actively chatting during the interval. Lots of points to even out and balance to the personal taste of you and your channel. At the bottom of the section are two sliders where you can set the online and offline payout intervals. These are just how long in minutes between giving out points to your viewers. I have mine set to 15 minutes while live and 60 minutes while offline. Once again though, this will need to be tuned for your setup. The last section on this tab is the points database. Here's where viewers who have earned points on your channel will show up. This is mostly useful in order to correct things anytime points or hours go wonky. Additionally, the right-click menu has a number of options inside the database display. You can right-click a specific viewer and click edit to change their points or hours. You can use the remove option to remove a viewer from your database or remove all to, as it says, get rid of everybody and start over. You also have the ability to remove based on inactivity of various intervals of one week up to two months. This feature is mostly useful for huge channels and I haven't found a need to use it. That being said, if commands that interact with your point system start to get slow, you might consider cleaning it out. The last option has a similar effect. Reset points to zero for everyone. 
but this at least preserves the hours spent in your channel if that's important to your system. That's it. By this point, you should have your currency system fully set up. Hopefully you've chosen a cool name for your currency. I stress again to not be afraid to actively rebalance the number of points given out as you add additional ways for viewers to earn points and spend points. That's all for this tutorial, but keep an eye out for more Encore tutorials over the coming weeks. Till next time, guys. Peace out.